Welcome over to Automotive World, everyone. I'm your host, Anima We are continuing with the onslaught of just electrification news for, we're going to call it Electrification Monday. And we have some news out of Toyota and Subaru. This has been something they've been doing for a while. This is the partnership that Toyota has been having with Subaru. Subaru is now claiming that they've gone through, you know, the, you know, essentially what was the test phase with them being the BZ4 um, and Subaru's, off, you know, obviously their version of it uh, with the Solterra. Uh, Subaru is now claiming that they have determined, you know, the best partner for this is Toyota for this collaboration, and they are planning for the next three electric vehicles. So we're gonna get right on into this. Um, obviously, Toyota and Subaru have been, they've been partnering for a very, very long time. Uh, you know, for you know whether it's just with sales for every force or they sell, they were you know sell a certain number of Rav fours. Uh, but I mean, we've seen this with the BRZ and the the GT86 and obviously now we see it with the GR86 and the current generation BRZ that partnership um, with the Solterra and Toyota's BZ4X uh, we see that partnership um, and they have already decided and it will be you know they will be building uh, its next three electric vehicles um, so this is a really really big partnership as Subaru um, and these are all going to be SUVs but as Subaru is I don't want to say a dying company but Subaru is a much smaller company Subaru is really losing a lot of market share especially here in America in my opinion um, you know just especially with their enthusiasts um, you know just where you know STI just not existing anymore where the WRX is going uh, Su you know Subaru partnering up with you know the mighty Toyota is really something that is just it's invaluable to them I mean that you can't put a price on that I mean, so what they're saying is here, Subaru is, they're going to claim by the end of 2026, it'll have four EV SUV models to offer on sale. The Solterra is already there. Like I said, the Solterra is, you know, the BZ4X. Those two vehicles are the same vehicles. Obviously, they, you know, different nameplates, uh, different badges, um, but they are saying that they will be built. Uh, one of them will be built in Subaru's factory. The others will be built in the Toyota factory in the U.S. Um, and out of those... You know one of them will be building a you know a three row battery electric vehicle suv that'll be in kentucky they're planning for that to be 2025 um and you know they've been looking at the market obviously we've seen with the eb9 it's been very well received in terms of sales uh, in terms of also awards as well so we do also have some pictures here that they gave us obviously the vehicles are under wraps unfortunately so we can't actually see what they are um, but both Toyota and Subaru are partnering up to make brand new battery electric SUVs. Uh, some of them, like I said, they're going to be two row. Some of them are going to be three row. Um, we don't obviously have any pricing. We don't have any names of what the models and things like that are going to be. Um, but we do know that obviously, like I said, just Subaru being able to partner up with Toyota, this is invaluable, um, especially for Subaru. Like I said, they're a much smaller company, much less profitable, um, especially in the direction that they've been going able, you know, they've been going in uh, to just partner with Toyota. And we've seen this as well. You know, they mentioned here Toyota partnering with uh, BMW for the new Supra. As much as that hurts me to say that, but you know, this is not the first time car companies have partnered. And this is not the first time we've seen uh, Toyota and Subaru partner. They have been partners for many, many years. In fact, many, you know, a few decades now, actually. Um, and I think this is great for the brand. Um, like I said, the BZ4X and the Solterra was the experiment vehicle. It's kind of the beta vehicle. It is going to be interesting to see, though, because obviously this 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 video we don't really have any information other than they're going to be building you know three more vehicles this vi this video isn't really to provide any information because we don't have any information on those new vehicles but it's really just to kind of speculate what we have and it's a bit interesting because obviously the bz4x and the solterra were you know they were recalled there was a stop sale for quite a long time over you know wheels and things coming off Toyota and Subaru were able to figure that out and get that under control. Um, and, you know, we have seen the BZ4X and the Solterra sales actually go up. You know, it has been a steady growth. However, it has been a bit of a rocky start for them. Um, I would love to see, obviously, some sedans that are electric. But I think Toyota partnering, um, or in this case, Subaru partnering with Toyota, it is the right thing to do. Um, Toyota has... A variety of platforms everything from compact 
uh, to you know full size body on frame platforms. So I do think you know Subaru is doing the right move here. Um, obviously, we do need to see you know with the Solterra and the BZ4X. I would love to see some vehicles that are that size, but a little bit more competitive. Um, the Solterra and the BZ4X, just in my opinion, price wise, they're not very competitive. Features wise, power wise. Um, range wise they're not very competitive so obviously as they come out with these other options it'll expand the lineup in the portfolio but i would like to see some more options overall i also do think subaru 2 does have a chance to instead of also just making suvs also expand to some other options maybe get back into you know compact pickup trucks or something we see that that's a segment that's exploding with the ford maverick and the hyundai santa cruz um you know toyota has been rumored to be bringing you know be bringing out the you know their own compact pickup truck and i think maybe partnering with subaru this might be a great way to for you know subaru and toyota to partner together sell this under the subaru brand uh, maybe even sell it electric and just kind of inject some life back into subaru so i think this is you know it's a great partnership overall um, you know, like I said, they do intend for one to be made in Subaru's plant and then the other two to be made with, you know, Toyota's plant here in the U.S. Obviously, that can change as well. Um, you know, we might see, we might see one of them also instead of being made in Kentucky, we might see one made in, uh, in in Mexico. I don't think more than likely it won't be made in Japan, but we could also see that as well. Like I said, we don't have really any information on them. We do know they are planning for one of them to at least be a three-row model. Um, which I think both, you know, Subaru and Toyota, they both have three row models, but I think they do need something that is more competitive. And obviously they do need something that is electric because the EV9 is selling quite well. So I think this is a bit interesting. I think, you know, this is a big chance right here. Subaru with the help of Toyota can really, really, you know, bring it back, really inject some life into the brand. Um, and really, like I said, Subaru to me is a brand, they're not very profitable. They've been losing a lot of their market share, a lot of their consumer confidence, especially with enthusiasts has gone with the, you know, the diminishing, you know, fate of STI and things. Um, I think this, this is really important here for Subaru, even though they are going to be sharing this off of, you know, Toyota so closely. I think it's very important for Subaru to care about this a lot and put a lot of effort into this because this is essentially, this is a new clean slate. You know, I think the Subaru that we have always seen, that Subaru is obviously kind of, you know, going away and fading away. But I think this is this is a chance for Subaru to really, you know, show us the best they can do and really like, you know, like I said, a brand new clean slate, you know, make make a new mark for themselves, you know, set a new path for themselves and you know, even though obviously it would be with electrification, you know, electrification, show us that hey, you know, Subaru still has the Subaru magic in them. And so, like I said, I think this is a really great partnership for Subaru. Um, I do think, though, obviously, even though, like I said, with BC4X, they are the same model, just different nameplates, different badges. I would like to see some differentiating, you know, factors between the two. I don't want to just see, you know, three EVs that are all the same, same power, same range, same features, but just, you know, different badges, different nameplates, slightly different exteriors and interiors. I'd like to really see something that, you know, I can, we can tell that, hey, this is Toyota Subaru technology, but it's really differentiating the two brands between each other. So like I said, I think Subaru's in a, this is a, a really good spot for Subaru right now. They can really, really change the momentum and give themselves a clean slate and set themselves up for the, for the future. Um, but we will have to see how that goes. So that's going to be our video for now. Thanks for watching, everyone.